Hey guys, it's PMHK here obviously and today we're taking a look at this little device over here. Now, uh, I know that most of you guys know that I had moved out of my house because it was under renovation and now that we are back to the main house, uh, one thing that I have to do obviously is get the house smart because that's actually one thing I was doing before the house got renovated but because of that most of my plugs and switches were changed so I have to actually restart and redo the home automation which is actually what i've been trying to get this house uh to look like a house of the future where i can tell the house to do stuff just by my voice or just by going to my phone and control lights music tv and uh, appliances and so forth now this guy here is the son of a uh, basic this little device here will allow me to make any of my appliances or even light sets become uh, smart now let's unbox let me show you guys what's inside uh, now inside you're gonna get the son of basic now this device what makes it actually really amazing apart from what it actually does it's its price now this guy is going for around, around 160 rand you can get it from take a lot obviously i'm gonna link it down below in the description uh, so if you guys decide that you're gonna go and grab one you can always go and check it out now in the box you can expect uh, some screws uh, you will get the actual device itself this is the son of this is the basic uh, device that the son of the company has you actually can find other devices if you just go and search son of you get all the ranges of device that the guys actually sell they have from this uh, device that I have here that I'm gonna explain what it actually does they also have light switch and they also have similar device to this one but the one that actually they have that would control actually how much electricity you are actually consuming now this device here it works really simple let's say you have let's say let's say you have a device that it's not smart so all you have to do is put this device between the actual plug socket of the device and the actual device itself so you're going to have two cables connecting the side which goes to the actual device let's say the kettle for example the side you're gonna have to actually cut the kettle's cable in the middle and connect one here it actually shows you that this is the input so you put the input here and the output you put it at this side now this guy is the main device that comes in the box and in the box you should also actually expect the user manual uh, guide which you guys can actually go through is actually really really quite straightforward anybody can actually do this easy easy installation and you can install this in most of your appliances which is going to be in between the current and the device itself now uh this device works with amazon alexa it works with google as well and it also works with ifttt if i have never spoken about ifttt ifttt is a service that was launched when home automation and started becoming popular but most of the device were not communicating so what ifttt actually stands for is that if this than that so you could actually cook a couple of recipe that would let's say when the sun rises uh turn on my light so if this happens then that happened that's actually where the name comes from and there's actually the basic things that you need to know that it works with there's also uh, works with nest which actually right now is not gonna work with nest because google is doing whatever they're doing to the nest uh branding but yeah all you need to know is actually that it works with google Google now and it works with Alexa Mini because that's like actually the main one. It doesn't work with uh, Apple HomeKit, unfortunately, but there's actually plans to bring that uh, in future, probably end of 2019. So this guy would work with the EWE Link app. That's the app that you guys are going to have to download on your smart devices, which I actually have already uh, downloaded on my iPhone. I'm just going to show you guys a little screen of how the app looks. And that's also where you're actually going to go and add this device to the app now as i mentioned the instruction manual are actually really 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 straightforward for you guys to go through it now just for me to check the apple quick the app quick quick or show it to you guys the app and this is fully supported in south africa so you guys actually not gonna have any problems uh signing in and registering for the app actually the process is actually quite forward you select your country you put your phone number or email address and then they send you a pin which you actually use to register uh, the actual device now right now i have one light already connected which is the outside light 
and it's already synced up to my Google now as well and all I do is tell Google to switch on the outside light and it turns on when I want to turn it on and you can also actually set in the application you can set a uh, kind of uh, recipe if I can call it that where let me just see if I can get a hold of it where you can actually schedule the lights to go on and off so I have it scheduled to go off at 6 in the morning that's basically when sun is rising and it goes on at 5 30 in the evening when sun is actually setting and you can also set a timer for the device that's actually connected to this uh, device I mean the appliance that actually connected to this device to actually go on and off and as I mentioned this guy here is really really come in handy because of the price and actually the functionality that it has so as you guys can see i managed to actually just hook something up here as you guys can see i just did this so i can actually test the actual device before i go outside and install it and i actually had a little bit of problem trying to pair the actual sonos son of device to my phone but after a couple of tries i actually managed the problem was actually that i was connecting to the wrong network uh, at home i had to connect to a 2.4 gigahertz network because this thing doesn't support 5 gigahertz so just to show you guys that it's actually working i'm gonna plug it in and okay I also connected it to my Google Home so all I need to do actually it's either use the Google Home Mini that I have in my room or I use my phone so all I have to say is hey Google turn on outside lights and it actually sure, turn turns it on lights. and I can also actually set it to turn on on uh, sunset and turn off on sunrise in the morning which actually makes it better for me to actually save energy now what i'm gonna do next is grab the actual device and take it outside and actually connect it to the lights that i have outside since as you guys could see i named it outside light so i'm gonna connect it there and i'm going to be able to use it to turn on and off my outside light automatically on sunset and off on sunrise every morning Hopefully the cable that I'm connecting this thing to is actually on the outside because I remember in the past when I had to connect it, I had to go on the roof to actually do it. I can literally connect it there. But I think I'm going to, I don't know because it's very far though. Okay, let's see because the stairs, the stairs is a bit short. And that's very short. Being recorded. Actually, one thing I forgot. I'm supposed to turn off the camera. <laughs> so, not that I'm advising you guys to actually try this at home. I advise you guys to find a professional electrician to come and do this for you. But if you decide that you're going to do it yourself, make sure you switch off whatever uh, lights you are going to be working on so you don't get dead while you're doing it. A little longer than a few minutes later. So we actually <coughs> we actually had to change plans. The, plan, the first plan was to connect it from the outside. But because I think water was going to reach that side, we decided to go and put it <coughs> on the roof. I actually had to change because the roof is really, really dirty. So now everything is connected. So this is time of truth. We're going to actually see if it's working. Okay, Google, turn on outside lights. Sure, turning the outside lights on. Okay, Google. Turn off the outside lights. Sure, okay, Google. Turning the outside lights off. Okay, Google. Turn on the outside lights. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos on home automation and how I actually make this house uh, smart, make sure you let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, uh, make sure you actually subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you actually like this video. And don't forget to click the little notification bell button so you can actually get notified whenever I upload a video. Uh, and I'm going to catch you guys on my <laughs> next video. Peace.